Hey guys, it is Holy Basil here. I hope this video finds you doing well. And here I am last week doing or redoing an AMRAP of 135 pounds that I did I think two or three weeks ago for 16. And I was able to squeak out 24 reps if I counted correctly. And this was after um, a one rep max of 280 pounds, which I'm very happy about. Not the most impressive, but for me, I'll take it. And I think that was a cheat code, honestly. So after doing the one rep of 280, basically having the weight felt so much lighter with the 135. But anyway, I want to talk about dopamine, a neurotransmitter in our brain that is revolves around determination drive, makes you feel good. There's been a, several videos I've watched lately on YouTube. Uh, one, Andrew Huberman, also Kenny's Fit, had a funny video about it. And we rely on dopamine so much. And without it, you develop something called Parkinson's, which is horrible, like we know. But if you want to learn more about that or dopamine, how it works, I'll refer you to Andrew Huberman's videos. And in the realm of working out, we're, we, we rely on it, tongue twister, so much because it spikes when we work out and usually the things that we drink before workout spike it whether it's caffeine or L-tyrosine and then afterward after that peak it drops and it usually goes below baseline so we have like kind of like a drug addict you you chase that original high and I was like that in college I thought I was addicted to working out but I was addicted to stimulants and and I would only have good workouts when I was on a high, essentially. And it reminds me of spiritual concepts and my relationship with God. How when I was a brand new believer, when I first got saved in high school, I had the most overwhelming experience with, with God. And I just felt so much that each time I tried to interact with God again, I desired that overwhelming energy. When I didn't have that overwhelming energy, I felt like I wasn't having interaction with God. And scripture says in Proverbs 25, 27, that it is not good for man to seek glory after glory. And I think that relates to what I'm talking about here because we, we want to glorify ourselves in the aspect of working out, I was addicted to feeling good and not necessarily performing well. And to compare that to the relationship with God is, if, if you go into prayer or reading scripture or serving people in the aspect of how will this make me feel, you're approaching it in the wrong way because if you don't feel the way that you anticipated you might, you feel like you didn't accomplish anything. And that's a very dangerous spot to be in. And I feel like I've learned through working out that every workout is not going to be this adrenaline rush PR lift session that just has me feeling high and mighty every time. And I've learned with my time with God that every morning, I'm not going to just feel the same way. And that's not to say that you can't occasionally, but if you seek those feelings, that's a very selfish desire rather than just training because you know that you enjoy training and that you enjoy the results of it and spending time with God because you enjoy that. And scripture says in John 4, 24, that God is spirit and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. When we worship by just our feelings, it's neither spirit nor truth because one, our feelings don't reflect our spirit and two, our feelings change so they aren't always true. I don't know if this hits home with any of you guys, just some ramblings after I drink some coffee this morning, but I hope that you enjoy your training and two, if you don't know God, I ask that you would reach out and call unto him and if you do, I pray that you would spend more quality time with him, not dependent on feeling.